This is the Decor and Lifestyle Center. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am Charlene and in today's video guys, I want to have a little chit chat with you. Um, this was really inspired by a purchase that I made. Um, so truth be told, I have enrolled myself into the gym, maybe I think from about October of last year, because your girl was having some serious challenges. So while we talk to her, I'm going to do some unboxing too. While well, I'm going through, so we're gonna chat between the unboxing, all right? Okay, mm -hmm. so when me, oops, I feel like I'm cut the sitting so I want to go on. Don't you say I'm supposed to be a cut? <laughs> oh my god, I'm supposed to be cutting down here, all right? So, like I said, it was inspired by I had to buy a pair of sneakers. We call them sneakers here. We want to call them dragon shoes um, in, in other parts of the world. Um, some people call them running shoes. Yeah. So, it, oops, I don't need to open this. I'm not paying attention, you know. I'm not paying attention to the multitask. So, here we are talking. I do this at the same time. Let's see. Anyways, so, I decide for any role in the gym because normally I'd be doing exercise and I do walk a lot because I absolutely love to walk. But then I realized that as I get a little older, Lord Jesus, that the walking something there alone just was not cutting it. It wasn't cutting it at all. And I said, hold on the man, what's going on here? Oh, so let me show you what this is. So I drink a lot of jelly coconut, right? So this is actually a jelly coconut opener. And of course, I don't know, so I struggle with it, with the coconut sometimes to so open them. Because I just like the things myself. <laughs> and um, of course, buy the jelly coconut opener. Because see, oh, it's going work here now. This I, I paid like six dollars, six dollars and change for this coconut opener. It feels very sturdy, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, really sturdy. All right, that's not too bad, Shar. All right. So, how this basically works is that you hold it like this, and then you put it, you push it down into the coconut and you kind of like turn it to cut a hole. You know, so I should have really do something I show you how this has hit me at work. Or me I review it without I show you how it works. So as, like I was saying, I bought the sneakers and um, they didn't fit. Because I me not, me not even know if I me, if me know how to shop at Amazon. Like this is new for me. And I'm, I want to be extremely intentional now about the things that I buy. That I'm going to be reviewing them on the channel as well. Just to give you a little bit of idea. You know about, about the purchase and how it can or cannot help you. So. I'm enrolled in the gym you guys. I have gone in a nice. I have one nice trainer. Big up yourself Dennis. Because let me tell you something. You make me look forward to coming to the gym at the time. May I tell you the truth? Four days, sometimes all five days, but they are the gym because my trainer is just the bomb. Let me tell you now, Lord Jesus. Between me and my daughter, I think we we'll call him like the menace. No, she call him G.I. Joe because he's not stop. Anyways, so may I tell you now, so I enrolled in the gym. Primarily inspired um, by the fact that I realized say. If I go underneath my bed for pick up something, <laughs> Jesus, that is a whole operation by itself. Because sometimes me all have to roll over. Like me can't just me can't just pull myself up. Me have to roll over upon the ground. Sometimes me have to hold on upon the furniture. Me have to hold on upon the bed. Me and me have to say, I want to go on in a this season in my life. Anyways, the gym story you now. So I start the gym and me watch my diet and. All of that and the chip are going good enough. Oh, tell us, I can't. You know, I'm not so hot. I'm not supposed to multitask. Anyways, the gym now. Oh, Jesus, we start the gym. I go there the first week. I'm going to kind of feel out the place and nice gym, though. Well equipped and everything. I'm going to say, I feel out the place. Then when I'm going to realize, what? well, on the man, but baby girl, you never can do this by your own. Them, them call trainers and, and gym instructors for a reason, you know. Because you like how we decorate and specialize in a kid and craft. And we decide, so, you know, 
I'm going to get one trainer. Because, first of all, the, 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 the fear that I do have with doing all of this is that I don't want to hurt myself. That's the first thing. Because me, me rely on my hands and my feet heavily. Like, me, don't, me can't function without my hand and my foot. So, that's why I have to ensure that they're, mo they're, they're, they're mobile. You know what I say? They have mobility. Because me can't move. Me can't do nothing. Me. Because, and if, every day, me just, uh, me just up and down. So, if my hands and my feet are not functional, I don't know, but I forgot to figure out how that's going to work. But for now, them have to be working. So I'm enrolling at the gym. And, yeah, it can go on with itself. And my trainer is really, really great. He's um, very patient with me and, him, you know, rough me up when he's ready, but give me a little side eye when I stop and I waste time or something. But, yeah, so I wanted a neutral color sneakers to wear at the gym and I bought this gray one and let me tell you something years ago maybe about before the pandemic I had gone to Western Sports and bought went in there because I couldn't shop for shoes and them something that I don't do well online you know me not, me not, me have a feel so this is all new territory for me and these sneakers cost $64. No, like $60 on Amazon with the tax and everything. And then the shipping now, I pay about $8,000 to clear it. They're not cheap. Okay? But comfort is my thing all day, every day. And I'm happy that I had gone into Western Sports and I had fitted a shoes that I have currently. And I wear that one. Anyway, I did buy one of these already, the exact same thing about couple weeks ago and but me wear size 10 and I bought a 10 and when it come it fit but my toe like me tell not enough to touch my toe my toe was touching the top I was just can't go give me instructor and he sell it for me and give me back my money just like that I'm just buy another pair because me did love the color truth be told me I fit it on and then me I show them right but I actually bought two pairs I could talk about them two pairs at all. So the new thing with the government bringing in where you can spend a hundred US dollars now without customs a, a dig it down or a breathe down your back or a charge your bag of money. So that was supposed to be implemented the first of April. Of course, you don't know, say me buy the two shoes then prior to that. You know, you see, well, if I'm gonna see the time when I unbox it, which is the today, what? about the fourth or the fifth, the fifth of April, right? I could have did wait this for five days. But the issue is, when I'm committed to doing something, I'm committed to the gym. Like, I'm committed. Like, I don't know. Like, I think I should have done this a couple of years back, you know? But I always say, I don't like to drive to go to the gym. But yeah, 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 yeah. That workout, I mean, I decide now, say, that has to be the way to go. Because truth be told you guys, I have a treadmill at home. I have a bicycle. We have weights training, we have weights um, equipment here. We have dumbbells. May I use them? No? So, the gym is a little bit more structured. And the fact that I pay my money, I have to go. So, I'm in the gym and I'm so loving it, you guys. So, I try to get me like a self prepared now. I do have quite a few gym outfits, but. Um, them can go on for now, but may I take my time and outfit myself with a few new things just to, you know, juice up things a, a little bit. I mean, I tell you no, I'm going to Western Sports and um, but the guy recommended a pair of A6 for me. Oh, Jesus. Him said, because at that time too, I was having some pains in my heel. And, Lord, this feels good. No, 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 this feels so good. This feels like heavenly. I'm so sure no what it looks like. Just hold on. Heavenly. Nice. Nice, sure. This one good. So uh, what I did was I upped the size. I bought a size 11. So in A6, me know say 11 me wear no 11 women. Anyway, I'm going to put on the spectacles a little bit because we can see everything out there. So. But for read, I need to put them on. This is a 11. Wait, that's a man or a woman. A woman 11 though. Right? That's what, that's what I wear. Nice and comfortable. And I wanted, I wanted to start with a neutral color, like look up a green under here. 
And then it also have a little bit of pink right here too. Forget to review me, I review the product, you know, what the hell. But it feels so good, you guys. But I had to up the size because normally I'd wear a size 10 and I upped it to 11. Okay? And I want, so if you don't know me, you know, I tell you how me stay. You see if me find something me like, Jesus Christ, me go buy it in every color. Imagine ever. Yeah, 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 that's how me stay. If me like it like that, you see, like how this feel good, everything I'm going to be A6. I tell you, no matter what the price, I do some stay. Okay. All right, so that's a one pair down. I don't know on a girl, you know, she love the fashion something, right? And my, my, like me said, I have gym clothes. I don't really need to buy none immediately. But I like when my things are coordinated and put together nicely. Okay? So as it is now, I have one pair of black A6. Got like a little bit of pink and purple in there and things. So I needed some other colors, you guys. By the way, we need more than one sneakers for the gym. Like why? <laughs> no, I said that. Because I can't answer it. When I go buy, I have two. And I can't tell you, this is one of the last two pair. Okay? I don't know how many of you saw the, the post that I did put up for my birthday in early March. But I turned 60. And 60 is a fabulous time. It is. Well, and the Charlie, many times did realize that the other sneakers are identical to that one here. Yeah. After me, I saw it. The only thing was different are the color. Look at people. The gray are the same. Hold on, I can look. The gray, them are the same. You know, no, you know, so Charlene, you know, easy. The gray is the same. But the pop of color is what I like. You know what I say? Neutral with a little pop of color. So we can wear this with gray. We can wear it with pink. We can, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can wear it with white. Mm hmm. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, though, Charlie, next time you have to change up the styling a little bit. Can't really buy it. The same one, same way. Mm hmm. That all get, look away, you know. Anyway, so I'm telling you now about the, the whole turning 60 and the pains and the aches will go with that. And I said, no, man. I don't understand. And then the thing that gave me the most care was that I had a pain in my heel. And for years, I have this thing, you know, I have to buy fit flop and I recommend it to everybody. Once you get to a certain age, I feel in a fit flop. Right, it. Well, let me just tell you something. You see, from me start the gym, and I do the stretches and something, I have no more pain in my heel. I can't know where my Bridget sandals, because I did actually put them down because they were too flat and was hurting me when I wear them. And I can now wear them for extended periods without any pain. So the bottom line is, though, at the end of the day, that while we want to think that we're good, you know. Most of us in our bodies, we feel like we're all right. And for the most part, we're good. But I recognize pretty early that in order to be able to go on with the second part, I call it the second season of my life, that is the over 50 part, then when you reach 60, I will hold that ball game. That, you know. But I will tell you some of the benefits about it too, you know. But when you get to... That 60 something day, and you realize that your aches and your pains and your body now move the way how it should and and you know if you are self-aware then you will realize it right it. then if you are 60 and this happens so when we get to 70 god's willing the older that i go like oh i mean say with the nature of my work that that demands a lot of my physical abilities outside of trying to create the spaces in my head. It, the execution takes a lot and it can take a serious toll on my body. So I decided to say, no man, we have to change the way we do some things because we just want to make sure that at the end of the day, we're physically able to do the things that we really want to do. And then another part of it too that, that comes into really sharp focus is that when you get to that age, if you are selfish with just doing what you want to do, eat badly, um, not take your health seriously, not take your whole exercise reg regime seriously, then what it means is that your, the persons who are going to be your caregivers are going to have so much more work to do. Not to mention the things that we can't even, we can't even foresee. 
You understand? Because with old age come a lot of other things. When them something they start to happen now, and then you're like, whoa. Well, on the man. So if the diet now go on with nothing, and then your physical fitness now go on with nothing, and we all know by now, thank God for the advent of social media. You see so many things. You learn so many things. And it's, you, you should know what you should take and what you should leave. But I'm here to tell you that fitness, especially weight training, when you get to 50 and 60 and 70, is going to be one of the strongest points that decide your quality of life at those ages. That's, that's all I'm prepared to say. Because let me tell you something. When you tell you your body, I got through some physical changes. You see, even the whole, the whole thought of me getting braces in my 60s was mind-blowing to me. Because outside of the fact that these are braces, they're going to cost an arm and a leg, or is costing, or has cost an arm and a leg so far. Then, well, on then, I fight this for two, three years. I never wanted to do it. When my, when my dental hygienist and dentist told me that I would need to do this, I'm saying, no. Because worse, because the people are wear it for style. Me I say, what I do? And then me I say, old oh, age and braces, is that not so cute? But then me realize, hold well, on the Charlene. So just like how you deal with the, the physical mobility part of your life, you have to deal with your diet. And then you also have to deal with whatever issues might come up, as long as it's something you can take care of. You take care of that, because if you don't, then further down the road, you're, it is going to have far-reaching repercussions. You understand? And if you can deal with it now and kind of maybe not get rid of the problem totally, but just try and minimize the effects on your caregivers is what I'm saying. Because when you take sick, you have to take care of yourself. You know? Are you going to take care of yourself? I know you have to take care of yourself. So some things that can be avoided, we really think that you really should do. Um, there are some things where you can't plan for, you just have to roll with the punches at that time. But the braces thing for me was a stretch. I never wanted to do it. Because prior to that, I have been spending a whole lot of money at the dentist on my teeth. Then I got the ha-ha moment. By the research that I was doing and all of that, I realized the backside and the menopause cause all of this. Because I also have some of my teeth from my turn 50 that were turning so them now have them original position. I have some spaces in my mouth that I also need to close up. Because the minute you have spaces, then your teeth start to move. And then I notice it now too. Some things, I have one magnifying mirror, so God bless the mirror. Then. One day, I me, me put on some makeup and I have to turn sideways. <laughs> and when I turn sideways, I apply the powder. I say, hold on the shower. Then we button teeth then look so. And it's that time now, I have to go in now, I have to talk to my dentist. And she said, well, I told you, it's going to happen and it's going to get worse. And then all of them, something that's going to affect your bone structure and it's got so many other things that are going to happen. And I said, all right, okay, okay. I'm just decide, say, if I saw, I saw, I'm just decide to deal with it. But truth be told, um, it is a stretch for me. It affects my speech when I speak to you even on camera. And um, <laughs> I like a young lady who will, who will, who will remain nameless. She looked at me and she said, um, you do have that mature mouth. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa what are they in here? So we, we have mature mouth now. Well, we don't know. But them something didn't really bother me. I'm going to be honest with you. But I just want to fix the things that I can. Um, me, me, I'm all about aging gracefully. I'm enjoying this stage of my life. I absolutely love this stage of my life. And like I said to you, the benefits of it, right? So we go through some of the pros, um, some of the cons. Let's go through some of the pros now. Um, the benefit, one of the main benefits that I have found with turning 50 and getting to 60 is that you're at the stage where you really don't even give a shit. You know what I said? Me hear people talk about it all the time, but it never mean nothing to me. Until you realize, say, you really have to, at the end of the day, put you first. Because 
life is going to be changing constantly. It's, it, it, it's not going to be static. And at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you can live your best life at whatever stage you're in, in your life. And what does that look like, though? Sometimes it would look like a little bit of selfishness, yes. Um, sometimes it looks like you just all about yourself. And sometimes it is even a little difficult for persons who are around you, your immediate family, your friends, to understand that this stage in your life is a really pivotal stage. It not come when you're in your 20s or one different stage. Let us just say that's a different stage. You're at the stage now where you have experience and you have... I want to use one word to say, but I don't want to use them word up on my channel. Um, on F with table. You know what I'm saying? So nobody can even like rock your boat. Nobody can ruffle your feather. You just know, say, once you get to that stage yeah, and you're all, you're, you're very self-aware and self-conscious and, and you know what is happening. You're, you're preparing yourself mentally. You're, you're doing all of that. You just say, you know something? Me just go go and do it, me do. Because everybody go go and do it, them do. You know what I'm saying? And, and you realize the things that used to bother you before, you're like, hell no, I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. So I spend a lot of time these days, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I absolutely love YouTube. Um, I, I listen to a lot of podcasts nowadays. I listen to things that uplift my spirit, things that will... Oh, my phones are going off. Things that will lift my spirit. Things that will enlighten me. Things that will teach me something. Um, and I'm trying to learn not only the YouTube aspect of it as it relates to my channel, but when in my downtime, I find that when I'm relaxing, I like to sit back and listen to a podcast. People talking about life, talking about relationships, talking about family, talking about old age, talking about how you can... Um, empower yourself as you move into your into the latter part of your life and and how you can make that be rewarding and fulfilling for you so and then when that do happens the people around you will now get the benefit because you're not even a you just a, you just a move through just just you know you just a glide through and sometimes I feel like me drunk and it's a it's a wonderful feeling because you kind of like step back and you look and you, yeah, yeah. And then you decide where you want to take on and where you want to lift your left. And you, you're like, girl, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm one of the persons who will advocate for, for life over, your fif over, uh, over 50. And if you should start one channel, I do that. Because my friends say, we come into a whole new empowerment life over 50. With all the different challenges that come with it, but I really do think that you get so much more than than the challenges. You know what I'm saying? And and we have to give God thanks at the end of the day because you're not in a hospital bed. You know what I'm saying? You know, get up this morning and you can't move, or you get up and you can't go in your garden, go take care of your flowers, or you can't get up and go treat yourself to a meal, or you, you know, you can't get up, put on your clothes and feel good about yourself. You know what I say? I mean, I say, you have people who suffer from depression, people suffer from, from all different kind of mental illness and all them things. And I am clothed in my right mind. I've, I've never felt better to be alive than I am today. I'm mean, think when you, when you get to 50, it's a whole different awakening. But then after that, that's when the party really starts because your children are grown. You don't have that kind of stress. You have time where you can spend time for yourself. You can do the things that you love to do. And, and you just uh, move through and uh, glide through. And you just uh, say, yeah, that's what this is about. At the end of the day, do the things that give you the most joy and the most fulfillment. And I'm really happy that I decided to do this channel because outside of another avenue to showcase my creativity, it gives me a chance to, to form a community. When you talk to me in the comment section and I see like somebody was like, girl, you did all of that. And thank you, Charlene, for doing that because you inspired me to do this. I'm like, yeah, 
That's what that is about, you know? And the, the journey to get here was definitely not an easy one. It still isn't because one year and odd later, I am just finding a spot that I can sit and comfortably talk to you. I can do my unboxing. So it's just an revolving door. Things are always happening. And that part of it excites me because if you know me, I'm not boring, not at all, not even five minutes. I mean, like to switch things up every now and again and do different things. And this is a chapter that I'm at in my life. And I am so loving it. Guys, welcome to my 60th chapter. So for the next 10 years, let's see what that's going to look like. Are you along for the ride? I really hope you are because God's willing, health and strength, I'm showing up. Week after week, as difficult as it is. All right, you guys. So until next week, we talk again. And I'll give you a little bit more life update, maybe. We don't know. I'm like that too.